Hello again, economic students. So we're looking at another SAC question. In this case, the content for this question is elasticity. Uh, it's 1.5 in your or on your economic side. So let's have a look at the question. It says to explain whether the demand for after party, formal after party tickets is likely to be elastic or inelastic. Now, a couple of things here. When you're answering questions about elasticity, whether that's the elasticity of demand or supply, this is a very, uh, for, well, it's very standard and often repeated structure for a question. Okay, so if you can master this question, if you can understand the marking guide and the sample answer, I think you can do very well uh, and you can feel very confident in going into an exam or a SAC. Okay, so the things that we would change as teachers or examiners is we might change demand, obviously, to supply and try and confuse you. Make sure you know you're thinking about the elasticity of demand. The product or the good or service here is formal after party tickets. Again, we could change that to pretty much anything. And finally, you need to work out whether it's elastic or inelastic. Okay. Now, the key thing to remember here is demand for formal after party tickets may be really quite elastic for some people and inelastic for others for some of you sitting out there, in fact, watching. So it doesn't actually matter which one you choose as long as your argument makes economic sense, okay? So the answer could be inelastic or elastic given its degree of necessity. But let's get back to that. So let's look at the marks. The first mark is always gonna to be to demonstrate an understanding of elasticity. And the simplest way to do that is just to define elasticity, okay? So that's where you're gonna start. I will start this way whenever I answer an elasticity question. And I won't do that for all questions, but definitely for this. The second mark is to outline the factor that's going to ultimately determine whether this product is elastic or inelastic, okay? So the factors of uh, elasticity of demand are, you think of them now, try and recall them. Yeah, it's the degree of necessity, it's the availability of substitutes, it is time and the percentage of income. So the second mark here is for you to state which factor you think is going to then determine whether it's elastic or inelastic. And finally, you need to link that factor to the degree of elasticity. So you need to show that sound economic reasoning or that sound economic argument. So you can't say that uh, it's elastic because it's not a necessity. That would not be right. But you could say that it's inelastic because it is a necessity or it's elastic because it's not a necessity. Both those arguments make sense. I hope my argument makes sense. Okay, so let's have a look at a sample answer. First thing we're gonna do is define elasticity, right? It's the responsiveness of quantity demand demanded to a change in price. Nice, clean, and crisp. You can get that at the start of every question in relation to elasticity. My factor is the one I just mentioned, but it's the degree of necessity. So you could state here, one factor is the percentage of income that formal after-party tickets make up or the availability of substitutes for formal after party tickets okay you're going to state the factor then we need to link that back to whether it's a, it's going to determine or make it elastic or inelastic so i've said here in my not very good answer this makes demand inelastic right okay it's a structure it's a one mark answer maybe two um, if i'm feeling generous it doesn't really show a depth of understanding so let's expand this answer but it's a good structure so first of all, to add weight to your definition, why not show that it's calculated by dividing the percentage change in quantity over the percentage change in price? You don't have to do that, but again, it adds weight. The second thing is here, the, the degree of necessity. Well, is it, is it something that has a high degree of necessity or a low degree of necessity? We've got to state that. So I've said here, formal tickets are likely to have a high degree of necessity for students who view it as an important event and I've also just used another factor here, which wouldn't get me any marks, but would show a bit of a depth of understanding. There's no substitutes for formal after party tickets for some, like going home to bed may be a good substitute for some of you. Finally, this would make demand inelastic. Well, let's try and link that to the factor. What does inelastic actually mean? It means a large change in price would have a small impact on quantity demanded, okay? It's because consumers are not gonna be responsive to those price changes because like we said, it's a necessity. It has a high degree of necessity. All right, so that's a really nice structure, a nice sample answer, I hope. And as I said, you could adapt this depending on how you approach this question or whether you get supply or demand or any good or service, you can adapt this structure 
and hopefully it works for you. Bye for now.